Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So this video is gonna be another project with my banana plant. So in this video I'm gonna separate some banana pups from the main plant. So the last time I separated a pup from the main plant, it was a disaster. It didn't end well. The main plant was already like declining and the pup died too. So if you want more details on this plant, I have another video. I will link it somewhere here or in the description box or both. And let's get started. So I do have this beautiful wooden bucket with the main banana plant. And right next to the main plant are several other pups. So I have one, two, three, four pups, maybe even like five there's a very small one and I think what I want to do is I want to separate this one the one that's in the back maybe this one as well maybe I will separate two pups actually I don't know yet I will find out when I start separating them I don't want the plan to have like a big shock when all the pups get separated so I just want to start with one or two and then see how they do and if everything goes well, at some point I might be able to separate the other two pups as well. Okay, so I already prepared the soil. There are basically three ingredients in this soil, which I will list somewhere on the screen. And I just wanted to make sure that the soil is like airy and not, and doesn't get too soggy when you water it, because that has happened before. Um, so yeah, and these three ingredients that are in here really help with that. Now the question is, how do you separate pups from the main plant? That's how I do it. I use a kitchen knife, so I just make sure that it's clean as possible. And that's how I do it, because the kitchen knife is very sharp. It helps to separate like the pup very quickly and in a clean way, I think. Because if you take anything like this, like that doesn't work. That is not sharp. So yeah, I've done it before and it works really well. I take the kitchen knife. So I wanna separate this one. This little one over here. Uh oh, so I'm not sure if this is gonna work. So there are like three very small roots on it. It was kind of difficult to aim. I have no idea if the plant can survive like that, but I mean, let's try. So I think I'm gonna take another one away. I'm gonna try my luck. And I think I'm gonna take, I'm not sure if I should take this one or this one. Something tells me I should try with this one. So I go with my intuition. The worst case is that everything dies away. I really hope I'm gonna have a little bit more luck here. So I just separated another pup and actually I have a pretty good feeling about this one. For some reason it went super easy and when you look at it closely you can't even see the cut. Like you cannot see that I cut it out at the stem. The stem is not damaged at all and it has a very small root system but i think we can work with that this is the cutest plant ever so i have a really good feeling about this one so i'm gonna put it in its pot like very soon and so this is the first pop that i cut off and here unfortunately like the stem it's very difficult to show but here I can definitely see that I cut it off, like the base is hurt. It does have very small roots and I am actually kind of worried. I don't think that this one's gonna make it. Like this one at the end, it has like an end. It has like a little tail where the roots grow out. I can see it. 
and this one does not have that so i assume we will see in future videos that this pop will do very well and this probably not so i do have this brown pot so this pot does not have a hole so i take a smaller one that has holes in it and put it in here so that's how i'm gonna do it today so yeah let's pot it up and let's hope for the best it's so small and so beautiful it's like the little sister of this big guy it looks really good wow i'm really happy with that and i have big hopes for you little buddy uh, what am i gonna do with this one so i need to grab some more soil and i need to find a pot to put this in So and there is the second pop, it looks really cute, they're so beautiful. I don't know if you noticed, but there were two other very small guys, these two. I'm wondering if a banana tree could grow out of this one, I'm gonna try. And I think I'm just gonna put it right here. So here is... The one pop that had like a very small rooting system. Here's the one that literally just looks like a leaf. I don't know if it's gonna work. Here is like the main plant, which is really beautiful. And then we have like one pop, a very small pop, and then another one right here, this bigger one. So I think I'm just gonna leave it like that at this point. I don't want to shock the main plant too much. I assume that it's shocking the plant in some way. So I'm just going to leave it like that. So I'm also going to water this pot and my two pops over there. Like this needs water. It's really dry actually. Ooh. So here is my new banana family. <laughs> I am really happy. Like, look at these. They look so beautiful, really nice. This one looks a bit like, mm. but this one, I think this one's gonna make it. This one's definitely gonna make it. So look at this, these look so cute. I am so happy. I hope in a few weeks I will have big banana plants that are growing strong i think that's already it for today thank you so much for watching if you like the video please hit the thumbs up and i mean if you don't mind also hit the subscribe button and talk to you soon bye